Round tripping in Final Cut Pro is a feature I desperately want added back. It used to exist in older versions of Final Cut Pro, but it is there no longer. However, there is an amazing plugin found on the FX Factory store from Automatic Deck that takes your footage from Final Cut Pro and automatically transfers it into a motion project. It is called Xsend Motion, and today we are going to look at all the benefits of getting Xsend Motion and adding it to your arsenal of editing tools. So I have this really basic project in Final Cut. Now, if I had more layers to this, it would still work perfectly fine in Apple Motion, but I'm just trying to keep this nice and simple. Once we have our project ready to go, we can go on up to the Share menu and go down to Xsend Motion. You're just gonna push Next. Don't touch any of the settings. Xsend Motion will do it all. And then it's going to bring up this dialog window. In here, you can see there is this automatically continue from Share menu. If you enable that, it's gonna go ahead and skip this dialog window and just send everything straight into Apple Motion. So you can definitely set up your settings how you like them and then never think about it again. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it disabled though because I like to have some additional options each time I wanna send something into Apple Motion. If we move down, we can see it will create layer groups based on individual layers or lanes above and below the primary storyline. If we leave it as individual layers, each individual clip is going to have its own group. Whereas if we leave lanes above and below the primary storyline, any clips that are below or above will be in their own groups as well as the primary storyline is gonna have its own group. For the sake of keeping things nice and clean, I like to leave lanes above and below primary storyline. Continuing down, you can also have it create groups for secondary storylines. You can have it ignore the audio so it doesn't bring in the audio into motion. And then of course down here, you can change the location of the motion project file. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at its default state and then we'll go ahead and push continue. And as you can see, XN Motion has brought in our clips without any headache. Now I brought in multiple clips so that you could see how that works, but I'm gonna go ahead and delete this secondary clip and show you the benefits of being able to bring in something into motion so quickly. The first thought I had when I saw this plugin is I constantly get the question of how can I create a tracked property line? Now there aren't really good shape tools in Final Cut Pro, but Apple Motion has a huge arsenal of shape features. So if we come down here to the Bezier tool and I can go ahead and create a shape directly around our property line here. Then we can go into the inspector, we can disable the fill, we can change the outline color to something like red, we can change the width, we can change the opacity, we can go into the geometry settings, change the roundness so it's a bit more of a round shape to it, a little bit cleaner. Then from there we can go up to our behaviors, go to motion tracking and match move. Now there is the object tracker in Final Cut Pro, but there's definitely some extra options here in motion that you just don't get in Final Cut Pro. So I now have the property selected that I want to motion track. From there, I'm gonna go down, select the scale options, and I'm also going to go into this transform setting and change it to mimic source. Then I'm gonna go ahead and analyze this. So we now have a tracked object. Now, ensuring that our mimic source is selected and not attached to source, jump into your Bezier options here, and we are going to drag up the scale so that it rematches with our property. So we now have this property line drawn very quickly using Apple Motion. Now there are far more features. For example, if we go into the shape settings, we can go to the style. We can change the last point offset. So if we want to draw on, we can click add a keyframe, go forward a second and continue on our animation. So now the property line is drawn around Plus, if we wanted to add some really dynamic text, we can just go on up here, add a text object, and we can write something like your future home. We could change the color to red so it stands out against that white background. We could go in, add a drop shadow, go into our format settings and maybe drag up the scale a bit. We'll drag our text here. Then if we go ahead and push option, click and drag on our match move, it will duplicate that match move. And if I play through, you'll see the future home is kind of sliding around weirdly. So to fix that, click down here, change your anchor point and drag that anchor point up to the center of our tracked object. And so now the future home is going to stick just as it should. And then if you wanted to make that text very dynamic, you just jump into your behaviors, go down to something like 
text energetic and do something like gather in. So now all of our text is going to fly in really, really dynamically. So then after this, you could of course go up to share and export your movie just like you normally would. And then you'll need to bring this footage into Final Cut Pro by importing. Now that is one feature that I would love for Automatic Deck to add to this plugin, the ability to send from motion over into Final Cut Pro. But with that being said, I love this plugin and I think you will too, especially if you use Apple Motion quite a bit. So if that interests you, make sure you hit up the link in the description. Also, if you use the code, the Final Cut Bro, you should get 10% off. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you might also really like this tutorial that I just put out on the FX Factory channel. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next one.